Okay, so this is my oxygen administration video. I'm gonna be going over the indications um, for oxygen therapy, the devices used, and um, the possible complications of oxygen therapy. So to start, the indications for it are um, if the patient is hypoxemic or has an increased work of breathing um, or they have hemodynamic instability. The main goal of oxygen therapy is just to maintain the adequate oxygenation of the patient. Um, there are two categories of devices, so there's low flow and high flow. Low flow devices include a nasal cannula and a simple mask. Um, and then the high flow devices include air entrainment mask, partial rebreather mask, and non-rebreather mask. Um, all of the high flow devices, the reason they're kind of, the difference in the high flow devices and the low flow devices is the high flow um, provide the predictable or precise FiO2 to the patient. So, you know, almost exactly how much oxygen is being delivered to your patient. Um, and then the possible complications of oxygen therapy include oxygen toxicity, nitrogen washout atelectasis, and then um, oxygen induced hypoventilation. Um, another complication of it, which this is specific to neonatal patients, um, but it is the retinopathy of prematurity. So that is in premature babies, they can go blind um, from too much too much oxygen. Um, so yeah, that's it.